Hey guys, I'm Sakara and I'm one of the co-founders of Blogettes. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys all about the difference between contrast and clarity. So there's a big difference when it comes to contrast and clarity, but I can see how people get it mixed up all the time. So here I am in Lightroom and I have a photo that I've edited, but as you can see here in the basic panel that it is, oops, there you go. It's zero, the contrast is zero, and so is the clarity. So I'm gonna show you the difference. Basically, when it comes to contrast, it affects the mid-tones. So middle to dark tones become darker and the middle to light tones become lighter. So basically, darks become darker and light become lighter. That's the difference. Um, so as you can see, if I play around with the contrast and I bring it up, you can see that it becomes brighter and the certain things become brighter and certain things become darker. So you can see here that the, bil the pillow becomes a little bit darker, but it gives it an orangish tone. Um, and then as you can see right here that the glasses, the black on the glasses become a lot darker. And then everything else becomes a whole lot lighter. Because it does that, people think that it's becoming clearer, um, which is why people get it confused with clarity. So that's the difference between, con that's contrast. And then when it comes to clarity, let's set this back to zero. With clarity, it's, uh, focuses on certain areas and it so for example if it was your hand it's going to pay attention to the lines the wrinkles in your hand and, ma and it makes certain things darker but also sharpens things so it makes it gives it that clear effect and you can really see the detailing of everything so let's play around with the clarity here it's at zero right now let's pay attention to the pillow here as you bring up the clarity you can see that the detailing starts to become clear. We're at um, 56 here. So it looks like it's sharpened and it looks um, like you've played around with the contrast, but it's a little different because it, again, it pays attention to the little details in the sweater, the pillow, um, and it smooths out the edges. So here we are, we just played around with the clarity. As you can see, it's a whole lot different from when you're playing around with contrast and the clarity. So this is what clarity looks like. Let me just bring it back down and then here's what contrast looks like. Do you see how it brightens things? Contrast brightens things so it makes it seem like it's a little bit more clear but it just brightens the brighter things and then darkens the darker things and then clarity really pays attention to the little details and it also sharpens it a little bit. So. That's the difference. Again, it sometimes when you have the clarity too high up, it becomes, um, it has an unrealistic image and look to it. So you wanna pay attention to the clarity. Again, keep everything to a minimum, but that's really the difference between contrast and clarity. So to summarize it all, contrast affects the mid-tones. So it makes the darker parts darker and then it makes the lighter parts lighter. And then when it comes to clarity, it does change the contrast a little bit, but it also looks at the details and the structure and it changes it a little bit. And then it overall looks at the structure of everything. So that's the difference between contrast and clarity. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Play around with it. That's the key to everything. Play around between each um, image adjustments and then you guys will be golden. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Thanks guys, bye.